Hello everyone, it's Rogue Archer. Let's take a moment here to appreciate the beauty of this location. I really think it is quite something. The colors are something. Anyways, I had wanted to do another th video just talking about my thoughts about Starfield. I think my first one was around 100 hours into the game. And now, just past 200 hours. Actually, I meant to do this about 20 hours ago. So I have now 218 hours in the game. But here we are. Had some time tonight. So I thought I'd just chat a little bit about what I'm thinking with regard to this game and how it's how it's playing for me. So I have to say, I would my overall thoughts on uh, Starfield are just generally really positive. I really, really enjoy it. Any kind of uncertainty that I had prior when I was playing the game early early days has kind of just melted away. I honestly, I'm not at all um, concerned about the, the game in any way. And honestly, I was looking forward to this game for a long time. And I think all my anxieties, if there were any, my uncertainty was primarily just kind of just coming out of the negativity that I had seen other people talking about and just the general discussion around this game. It just wasn't very positive. So I kind of started thinking, well, maybe it's, there's something about this. Maybe at some point I'm going to like the game less, or maybe I'm just not going to appreciate it. Maybe there's something I just haven't seen yet, and eventually I'll see it. But you know what? I really just don't think that's the thing. Oh gosh, look at this. Just look at this. It's so cool. It's beautiful. Love it. I hadn't taken time to explore this planet, so that would be a nice, maybe peaceful place to spend some time. Let's see if we can get across all of this water. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's a big and beautiful game. It's the kind of thing that I generally appreciate. If I'm going to spend a lot of time in a game, I think there has to be something really beautiful about it. Just something either genuinely aesthetically pleasing, or something that's just very, I don't know, captures an emotion maybe. This is one of those planet, uh, it's just a planet. This is actually a beautiful planet. But I will say this game is generally very aesthetically pleasing. It's beautiful. Just about any place you go has something. Uh, and everyone, every planet is a little different, and that is actually pretty darn neat if you ask me. Anyways, a couple things that, in no particular order, that I really appreciate about this game. Uh, music. The music is actually gorgeous. I uh, don't have it on right now, which is kind of ironic, but I just wanted to play without the music for a little bit and s just experience that. But the music for this game is honestly, let's just enjoy it. So far, I haven't had any tracks that. I don't know. Sometimes there's music, it's usually the battle music, if anything, that kind of drives me crazy if in a game. It's usually the battle music. Uh, so far, I haven't really been bothered by that. Oh, there's some dinosaurs here. Let's see what kind of creatures they are. Are they friendly or not? They're pretty interesting looking. And if you're not friendly, we're going to have our hands full. <laughs> Anyways, music's gorgeous. 
it's it doesn't really like distract too much, it's just kind of there. Soothing usually. Um, the quests, I honestly just enjoy the quests, I find them all quite interesting. Uh, there's the quest lines themselves are I don't know, they're, they're varied. There are, of course, your fetch, fetch quests that you will always find in games, and sometimes even just doing the those are not terrible. I like the um, mission boards, the little consoles where you can go and get missions. Sometimes that's just what I want to do. Just enjoy a few simple, you know, go get this, go collect that person, go kill that bandit leader, whatever. Those missions can be uh, just a, a fun way to spend time, but then the actual major quest lines are really well developed, I think, and I haven't even played them all, to be honest. That's the, that's the thing, after uh, I just actually haven't taken the time to play all the quests. I, I'm not rushing through this game, I just am enjoying it. You know, I think that's really important. I'm not in any particular rush to do anything faster than I feel like doing it. Um, and one of my favorite things to do, apart from just explore and appreciate all the different environments, is uh, the gunplay. I honestly just enjoy the guns and going out and shooting up bandits. Uh, a lot of different weapons you can use, and I just enjoy playing with the different ones, trying out different types. Just that is actually sometimes the thing I want to do. I don't really always want to do a mission or anything. And then other times I really just follow the, the quests from one place to the next, and sometimes it's just the quests that actually drive the exploration. Because there's so many planets, like yeah. That's the fun thing about this game, it's just so big and there's just so many things to do and at the end of the day, it's just kind of go with whatever kind of catches your fancy that day. Kind of a mood you're in, that's what I find. It's good. Um, the characters, I actually really enjoy the character development in this game. They're interesting characters, they're diverse, they're just different. There's, each character is significantly unique and I really like that because you can really just get to know different people. And I mean the, the main characters that I think either drawn to spend time with, but there's so many other characters that you can get to know just whether they're vendors or characters you find in towns. It's just here and there. They're not insignificant characters. They're like the there's like the main characters, the constellation followers, and then there's like the second tier characters that are really interesting and have backstories and quests. And then there's like the just the background NPCs. Oh wow. The dark the dark is setting in. This is so cool. We'll see this planet at night. There's something over there. I wonder what that is. Cool. What that is. Something to explore. And, yeah, let's see. What else? The locations, like the main cities and uh, some of the other, like, lesser locations, like New Homestead, Red Mile, those kinds of things. Uh, I like how each one is different and just a different, like, again, it's, it's just a big game. I don't know really, like, I know it's a bit repetitive, but each one of the main locations has a different flavor to it, a different feel. I really love that, you know, that's one thing that some, not every game that I've played has in its major cities or its major locations is the level of uniqueness between all of the different ones. Like, my all-time favorite game is Skyrim. You know, all the cities are... They are a little bit unique. 
but I feel like Starfield just does that, goes that extra little mile with that, makes the towns and places just further. They're, they're, they're even more unique. It goes a little deeper than the surface. Um, and that actually brings me to diversity. I really like the diversity in this game. There's just so many different, uh, I don't know, just kind of all different people in the game. Different, uh, and I don't mean just skin deep diversity, like the, it's not just the, uh, race of the person, the color or whatever, or anything simple like that. It's like the, the different accents, the different backstories that just feel really different, the different, like, almost personalities. Uh, yes, this game has the gender pronouns, which I honestly think is really cool for people who can create their character any which way they like, and I think that's pretty neat. Um, I honestly, like, I love the fact that you can <laughs> meet all these different characters. I love the accents, and uh, it's kind of interesting because, in a way, they have all this diversity with, like, you know, body type and all that, but then because everybody's kind of come from Earth, but all like the Earth, um, it's been so long, and it feels like the, like the the actual like cultures of the people. It's like it's gone. I don't really know how to explain. So it's like they've kind of done a really got good job of creating diversity in the game, where they have kind of not. Really, um, they've kind of like found their own basis for that. Like at this point, there's like the different factions and then like the the major kind of like the Free Star Collective versus the United Colonies is kind of like the main thing. But it doesn't really feel very cultural. It seems more like political. And yet, I mean, you got your Varun zealots. I guess there's like a religion going on there. There's a bit of religion, but it does. It's just kind of like, yeah, there's some. It's like there's diversity that doesn't really cause strife in the game, which is just kind of nice representation of all different kinds of people, and I just appreciate that. Which it's not really the focus of the game; it's just there. I like that. Um, literally, there is just too much to do. To be honest, I. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I think that's a great thing because it just means that I can take that much longer to appreciate the game and explore it at my own pace. And I still, after 200 hours, don't feel like I've used up all of my uh, time in the game. There's plenty more to do, and I'm already like excited about all the different types of characters I can develop, the other playthroughs I can do in the future, like. I'm like thinking, oh, I can create that character, this character. Like, I'm already looking forward to it, even though, like, quite frankly, I haven't even remotely finished up my first character. Uh, there's, I, feel, I honestly feel like there's just so much more to do with my first character. Ah, uh, I gotta go in there. I just don't wanna get too distracted in this video. Let's explore around. So yeah, there's a lot, a lot to do. So just to be clear, uh, even after my 200 hours. There is quite a few things that I have not either explored at all, or have very, very, just barely touched the surface of. So a couple of these things are really, really significant, and things for which I believe this game's going to be really well known for in the future. I really think that a lot of people enjoy uh, some of these things, so I think it'd be worth mentioning that things I haven't really taken time to do in this game because those are some of the things that maybe I'll have done by the time I do another of these videos. You know? And those include probably one of the most important is actually shipbuilding. I literally have not built a ship. I've upgraded a couple. But that's pretty minor. I think there's just so much you can get into when it comes to the ships. I haven't even I haven't even 
flown a class C ship. Than any of my characters. So, so much more to look forward to that. I really do want to get into it. If it seems a little almost overwhelming, so it just takes time to get there and to feel ready to do that. But I definitely think it's going to be fun. I'll just dive into it one of these days. And that will be fun. Something to definitely look forward to. I've been thinking about it a lot. Uh, settlement building. I have built a settlement, but like it was so bare bones. It was just basic. And I just honestly feel like there's so much to do with settlement building. I think you do supply lines. And I mean, not only can you get the resources from the settlements, but um, you can just enjoy the, the fun of building the settlements, I think. Again, I, I haven't really gotten too deep into that. It just feels like there's a lot to dig into, and I kind of. I've, it just feels like there's so much there, and it's not something you can just lightly do because you need certain resources to to build settlements. So it takes it's not something you just casually go do. I think you have to, to learn the system. You have to make sure you have the resources you need, and even when you there's just so many resources. That's the thing. I, even the upper level crafting, like I have definitely done some crafting. I've fixed up some guns and done this and that, but there's just so much you can actually build. Like I really, really want to get into like the spacesuits. For some reason, I never have the ingredients I need to build the spacesuits up. I just feel like you could just build, build this overpowered gear. That would be awesome. And, um, Same with the guns. I've got I've gone far deeper into the guns than I have the spacesuits, but then there's just other stuff you can build, like everything that there's so much you can do. So yeah, all the crafting, the settlement building, the ships. I just feel like I've barely gotten into that. Uh, and then there's like I said, I haven't even finished all the quest lines. I've done one new game plus, so I kinda have the concept there, but I really haven't gotten too farther, like I haven't gotten all the powers or all those things. So there's just definitely plenty of stuff I haven't done. I have not even remotely been to all the planets. And I definitely enjoy going to ones I haven't been to before. And there's so many skills I haven't even gotten. So I just feel like I have so much more time to like just get to know the different skills, which ones I like, which ones are really helpful, what each one does, and how it affects your character and its gameplay. So yeah. Digging into the skill tree a little bit more, understanding like character development, and yeah, I feel like that's a good, solid discussion of all the things I've really been enjoying, some of the things I'm looking forward to doing. And I know this is gonna be silly, but I honestly think one of the last things <laughs> I'll mention here is just the random collecting. It's always a thing in these big games, like this, especially these Bastida games, where you just kind of can pick anything up and you can fart around with stuff. But, um, oh, look at that. Gorgeous. But, they, I enjoy very much just. Can I stand up here? Nice. Yes. So beautiful. I enjoy picking up all the little, you know, the, the succulents, the coffee mugs, the little plushies. Honestly, I I swear that every playthrough I'll probably pick one thing. I just collect randomly. I had this idea I'd pick up all the like the the tape because it reminds me of duct tape. It's not, um, but yeah, I don't know. Just. For some reason, that's just something that amuses me. I actually also like the food in this game, and while it doesn't necessarily help you out much with your gameplay, it's just something that looks really appetizing. When I mentioned diversity, I forgot to mention that there's a diversity of food. It all very much looks appetizing, and I enjoy it. So, yeah. And, uh, I guess... I mean, are there things that I don't like about the game? Eh. 
I don't know. I'm not trying to be like unbalanced or uh, overly positive. I just honestly, I just don't really care. <laughs> There's probably some things that at different times I might not be into or that I might not enjoy, but I haven't found anything that's ruining my experience. Um, so I should probably build, uh, put a point in agility or something so I don't keep breaking my ankles when I land hard. But yeah, no, um, honestly, there's nothing about this game that's driving me crazy or annoying me at all. Uh, like I said, some days there's things I don't feel like doing, but that doesn't mean I don't like the game or, you know, like some days I don't, you know, some days I just want to scan planets and other days I don't feel like scanning planets. I, it doesn't, it's not about the scanning or the looking around planets, it's just, with a big game like this you just want to do different things, different days you have different moods and different things catch your attention. Um, but yeah, no, I haven't really found anything that ruins my day in Starfield. It's one of these places that I just I can see myself coming back to many many times and spending quite a lot more time here and um, I think some of the negativity about this game I just I don't really I honestly just don't really get why people don't like it. I think actually I really think with time that's gonna change I don't know, maybe time will tell, but I really honestly think that while well, there's people who this game is just not going to be their game, I think that maybe other people are just influenced by what other people say and don't really like take the time to just think their own thoughts and like just really, really think, well, is this the game that I like? Um, just have your own opinion about it and not just take what other people say. It's like it got trendy to hate on the Starfield. Um, I don't know. If you don't like the game, you don't like the game. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's so many other games out there. Honestly, guys, like, I have this long, long list of games I want to play, and I just never have time to play them. Honestly. Like, you can only do so much, right? There's only so much time in a day. So if you don't like Starfield, then go check out some other games. There's many, many, many games out there. And one of these games is going to be your game. So, uh, I honestly think it's a, a lot of fun. I think this game has a really bright future. And I think a lot of people are going to like this game for many, many years to come. I really do think there's going to be more more things added to the game. I think there's going to be a lot of like things to look forward to. New quests, new characters, new this, new that, DLCs. I don't know. There's going to be patches and this and that. Right now they're just, I think they're just focusing on like, you know, fixing up little things here and there as they see it needing to be done. Making it, polishing the game, you know? It's like that's kind of where it's at. And I think that's pretty exciting. And, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff when they're updating, I don't really notice it. There's little fixes that are probably minor. They're in the background. They're just fixing little things that maybe some people are experiencing that need attention. But, um, eventually this game's going to have more things added to it. And honestly, even right now, the game is full. There's so much to do that doesn't really need anything added to it per se. It's just that they want this game to be relevant for a lot of years, so they're going to keep adding to it. It's just what they do with games like this. So, anyways... I, for one, just really like it. So that's awesome for me. And yeah. I don't know. Really not much else to say. I'll probably make another thoughts video at this some point. Maybe I'll do it at 300 hours. But uh, I'll have to see. Probably when I have something either new to say about it or maybe I've tried out the other aspects of the game that I haven't quite got to yet. Or if my opinion ever changes. I'm not like, you never know. And I just want to say before I leave off, could you see my starship way over there? See that wing? It's kind of cool how you can see things so far in the distance. Now, where is that city? I gotta go check it out. And uh, we'll see you uh, next time. With, uh, I don't know. 
probably maybe we'll uh yeah, I have no idea what we'll do next time, but anyways. It's uh I'm just rambling honestly at this point. It's pretty late at night. <laughs> Alright, it's cheerio. Bye.